Ito na daw yung pinamagandang camera sa buong mundo. Ngayon 2023, si Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Meron siyang apat na camera. 1, 2, 3, 4. Lahat po sila ay 50 megapixel. Bakit apat? Ito, tatlo lang. Well, unang-una meron siyang main camera na Sony IMX989 sensor. Variable aperture po daw siya. F-stop 1.9 and F-stop 4.0. Meron pa siyang ultra-wide angle lens. Isang 3.2 times zoom telephoto lens. At isa pang periscope na 5 times zoom super telephoto po to. And lahat sila ay Leica cameras. That's right. This is the first Leica camera phone na merong Google. Anong sinabi mo? Dati kasi walang Google si Leica. But yes, is this a major upgrade from the Xiaomi 12S Ultra last year? And can it compare to the best of the best this year? The iPhone 14 Pro Max, the Huawei P60 Pro, can it really compete? Well, actually, tsura pa lang. Ang lupit na. Look at that. Mukha talaga siyang camera. Mukhang Leica camera. Ito ba yung tsura ng Leica camera, no? At ito naman, si Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Every year, may massive improvement, not only sa camera features, but also sa design. But this also has a 1.5 million and 2 to benchmark score. Nagulit ako doon, kasi last year, 1 million lang. Weh, di nga. An almost 50% increase in performance. Grabe yan. Kaya pala lumipat si Leica. But yes, in this video, we will see if the picture quality of this phone is actually good enough to compete with these phones. Are Leica cameras enough? Are Xiaomi cameras enough? Let's find out. What's the Vince and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Ooh. Now before we start, a word from our sponsor, Canadian SIM. May balak ba kayong bumunta ng Canada para sa vacation, para mag-aral or trabaho? Natatakot ka baka pag landing mo sa aeroplano, hindi mo agad makakontak yung mga mahal mo sa buhay. Well, hindi mo na kailangan maghintay pa at bumili pa sa airport ng SIM card dahil andito na si Canadian SIM powered by Fido. Makukuha mo na agad to kahit nasa Pilipinas ka pa lang. And it's actually the most trusted mobile network ng mga Pinoy's na pumupunta ng Canada. Get your Canadian SIM card delivered right to your doorstep prior to departure, ready to use upon landing in Canada. May pang internet calls and text ka na agad. Upon activation, meron ka ng unlimited Canada-wide calls. Makakabil ka pa ng Canada Credit Score, ang okay pa dito is may $60 activation fee na waived. At the best sa lahat may unlimited international text, picture at video messaging ka pa. Libo-libo na ang mga gumagamit na Pinoy papuntang Canada. Kaya mo padala to sa'yo nationwide at meron pang dedicated support once nakalapag ka na sa Canada. Get nyo na ito no, walang down payment needed, walang postpaid plan contract. If ikikit nyo na ngayon, ito po ay only $40 na may 25GB of data connection postpaid plan per month. To register, i-click mo lang yung link sa descriptions below. Kaya ano pang hiniday mo? Mag-Canadian SIM card ka na. Visit www.canadiansim.com.ph So, may box pala siya. Xiaomi 13 Ultra Box. Co-engineered with Leica. May 5G na siya. And mukhang mas malaki yung box ngayon. Mas makapal. Mas social. Xiaomi Designed by Xiaomi Ito po yung kanyang SIM ejector pin Sa mga Xiaomi fans po dyan, no? yung mga naka Redmi, naka Poco I know maganda yung mga phones nyo, siglit Pero, wait till you see this Ito ay something na ibang iba na Even greater than the Xiaomi 13 13 Pro Ito po yung kanyang casing Safety information guide Warranty card At yung kanyang Quick start guide By the way, binalik ko lang para sa box yung phone Nakabukas na siya May kasama na siya, ang punit The paper. Next time, ipadalang brand new. Kapal na mukha mo! But what's brand new is this. 90 watts fast charger. Kasi last year, 67 watts lang. And it looks like it's the same size as the charger last year. Pwede rin sa laptop. Pwede rin sa mga ibang Xiaomi phones. And of course, your USB Type-C cable. And that is pretty much it. Ano to? Thank you. Thank you, Xiaomi. Hindi po ba itong video na to? Siguro tip. But nope. Kahit po may 20, sasabihin ko pa rin yung totoo. Hindi, wow. Baka sasabihin nyo, bias ako. I'll tell you what, hindi pa ako bias. Unbox Diaries po yung pinaka-unbiased sa lahat. So, bilhin nyo na po to. Ito na po yung pinapagandang phone sa buong mundo. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> Now, first of all, is yung kanyang design. The phone has a beautiful design that looks like a Leica camera. Diba? Yung meron siyang, hindi siya straight sa likod, oh. Meron siya parang umbok. It feels like yung grip ng camera. Yung parang ganito, meron siyang grip. May kanto. Kaya lang kasi, yung lens niya, nilagay din doon sa kanto. So, hindi siya pwede ganyan. Ganyan siya. Pero magulat kayo, no, na mas maganda to, mas mabilis, mag-shoot. 
mas better sa low light compared to... What? Oh, may na-trigger dyan. Ah! But yes, the look of the phone screams, I am a camera. Yung kanyang buong identity is being a camera-looking phone. So this better be a very good camera phone, Xiaomi. Napansin ko, no? Si Huawei P60 Pro, pang luxury. Si iPhone 14 Pro Max naman ay pang luxury din, no? So, shalin sila. Pero, this one, parang hindi bagay sa mga ganong klaseng babae, no? Dabas niya, oh, professional photographer kate. I just think, na targeted to sa mga photography lovers out there na mahiling mag-shoot-shoot ng ganyan, na kailangan ng very convenient form. Kasi nga, yung mga cameras na ganito kalaki ay inconvenient, bulky, hindi kasha sa bulsa. Ito, cash sa busa nyo. Oh, by the way, ito pala yung itsura ng isang camera na may konting phone. Si Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom. Ito naman yung itsura ng camera ngayon. Pero more on phone na talaga siya. Mas elegant, mas seamless po yung design niya compared po before na mukhang Digicam. Ngayon po, mas solid yung integration. I just love modernization. Pero wait, hindi ba sabihin na mas luxurious to, mas socialin? Hindi rin ganun si Xiaomi 13 Ultra. No, this one is a very social phone din kasi nga, it does look like a Leica camera. With a fox leather back design, hindi ba siya vegan? So, not plant-based? Yeah, yeah, corny mo! Pero kapag nahuwakan mo siya, para siya yung grip ng mga camera na malalaki sa side, it feels like you're holding a real camera, pero ang gaan, ang liit, ang compact. You get the Xiaomi logo right there along with the Leica logo sa camera part. Yung kanyang body ay very, very premium. Yung kanyang feels. It's got that aluminum body. Tangita naman sa mga lines dyan, no? And just like the 12S Ultra last year, this one is very thick. Siguro kasing thick ng Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, pero hindi siya ganun kabigat. No, it's a very, still a very light, compact design. Pero syempre, pinakakakaiba talaga sa kanya, yung pinaka-distinguished part is yung kanyang camera. I mean, look at that. Have you ever seen a camera this big on a phone? Daig pa niya yung ibang cameras like a Huawei P60 Pro na parang nilamon na yung likod niya ng camera. It's mostly the camera at the back. It's big. It's protruding. It is telling you na it is a camera at its core. Pero Vince, di ba yan din yung itsura last year, yung Xiaomi 12S Ultra, may big ring sa likod. You're right. And di ba Vince, di ba sabi mo last year na parang hindi ganun ka-okay yung camera ni Xiaomi 12S Ultra na parang puro specs lang and hindi siya nagpakita sa actual result niya na maganda? Well, siguro this year mas maganda naman siya. Hopefully naman. Siyempre, just like any flagship phones on our channel, we decided to go somewhere else to take pictures, yung mga pinamaganda talaga para ma-showcase yung low light, yung kagandahan niya sa mga cityscapes. Ito na po, pumunta kami ng Vertis, no? North. And the pictures we got, significantly better than the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. I give it that. Last year, medyo underwhelmed talaga ako. Although mukha akong nahahype dun sa video na yun, no? So yan, fake news ka pala. Bias ka. Ngayon, hindi ka na bias. Ito na po yung judgment ko. The real judgment. Bwee. At its core, yung kanyang camera, as you can see, the color quality is almost, almost accurate. By the way, gumagamit pala siya ng Leica Authentic and Leica Vibrant Colors, no? If you want the authentic, yung mula masyadong pop, authentic. Pag vibrant, medyo saturated ng konti. Pero napansin namin wala masyadong difference. Ang hirap hanapin. Pero yun, at good lighting, ito po yung tsura niya. Very detailed, very flagship-like yung kanyang image quality. Color is good near... Near sa level ng isang DSLR camera. Sinasabi ko near kasi yung DSLR will always give you a much better background blur and yung color. So by the way, yung kanyang sensor pala is 1 inch sensor na. Just like yung last year, 1 inch sensor. I mean, si iPhone and si Huawei hindi po 1 inch sensor ito. Pero maya makita nyo kung ano yung difference nilang tatlo. Pero for me, nag-shine talaga siya dun sa kanyang telephoto zoom lenses. Ito yung parang hindi kaya makipag-compete ni iPhone. Kinumpare ko sa lang dalawa and the pictures I got with the Xiaomi 13 Ultra were much better, much more pleasing to the eye, mas maganda yung background blur, mas natural. And napansin ko, kapag ka nag-shift ka na sa portrait dito sa iPhone, parang mas medyong hindi ganun ka natural. Ito ang Xiaomi 13 Ultra, mas natural siya tingnan. O, mas pang DSLR yung kanyang feels dito. It's kinda hard to tell the difference between a DSLR, a bokeh, and this one dito sa Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Pero sa iPhone, makita mo talaga na enhanced siya. It's actually software lang pala. Skin tone, mas maganda sa Xiaomi. Pero guys, mas detailed pa rin kay iPhone. Ito po ay wide shot, so ito po yung main camera. But again, let's go to its portrait shots. And as you can see, mas natural at mas maganda talaga ang kuha ng Xiaomi 13 Ultra. The zoom lens on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is much more superior than the iPhone's telephoto lens by a mile. O kasi tama na yung comparison, no? Punta na tayo sa kanyang low light capabilities. So pumunta kami ng Vertis. Ito yung mga shots sa low light doon sa mall. And as you can see, ay grabe, yung lights came to life when we took photos. Ang tindi na background blur talaga nitong phone na to. Yan yung power ng 1-inch sensor 
always ginamit namin yung 3.2 times and yung kanyang 5 times kasi parang we always got a much better shot with it. Then dun sa kanyang main camera. I don't know why. Pero yung kanyang telephoto lenses are the star of the show here. Pero ang hindi pala kayo ng mga zoom is yung kanyang variable aperture nung kanyang main camera. So yung main camera niya is merong dalawang aperture na pwede mong gamitin. This is not virtual. This is physical aperture like the Huawei P60 Pro and the Huawei Mate 50 Pro a few months ago. Meron mo siyang f1.9 at f4.0. f1.9 is perfect. A faster aperture, better in low light, better background blur. Meron naman f4.0. Less background blur, pero mas sharp yung image. Then po, yung pwede nyo pagpilian. Using, yung, yung nga lang, dalawa lang yung pwede. No, hindi, wala siya in between. Pero guys, sa portrait mode, gumagamit siya ng virtual aperture. No? From f1.0 to f16. Also, meron siya mga filters dito like documentary, swirly bokeh, portrait, mga preset. Just in case na nagmamadali ka, it's got that nice feature. Ito na yung mga night mode shot niya. Actually, hindi na ka mag night mode dito. Meron siya yung parang AI. Kapag na-feel niya na, Low light na siya, shift siya sa night mode dun sa photo mode. Which will give you a different setting. Pag pinicture nyo po siya, medyo matagal po siya mag-take effect at mag-render pa ilang seconds. But then again, kapag low light naman talaga kailangan ganun. Even yung iPhone ko, ginagawa niya yun kapag low light talaga masyado. Pero napansin ko is ang bilis niya. Ang bilis na kanyang low light shot even sa night mode. Speaking of mabilis, grabe. Ang bilis ng burst na kanyang shutter. This is perfect for moving objects. Which is why we have... Photos of cats. As you can see, etong shot to ay mahirap po kunan. No, kasi nga, hindi mo, hindi mo kasi pwedeng pagsabihan yung pusa na, wait lang, ming ming, tigil ka lang, no? Mag uh, smile, smile, hindi po siya mag-posing para sa inyo. So, kagalaw-galaw po lagi yan. Even yung mga babies, no, yung mga, ano, bata, ang hirap nilang pas, stay in sa isang lugar para mag-posing. Kailan nyo po yung ganito kabilis sa camera para kahit gumagalaw sila, sharp pa rin, no? Uh, maganda to yung mga stolen shots, yung parang wala talagang posing, natural lang. Siyempre, kailangan nyo pa rin kunin ng mga gandang angle, lighting, mga ganyan. Pero the thing is, hindi mo na kailangan ng tripod, just like this one, para magkaroon ng consistent, sharp image. Kahit naka-handheld lang siya ng ganyan, very reliable, very fast. I love that. That is how things must be sa mga camera phones these days. Meron din siyang super moon feature, and buto na lang, nabutan namin yung full moon. This was shot handheld lang, instant. Okay, so... Dati kasi ilang seconds ngayon, in, sabi ng uh, videographer ko, instant lang daw niya kinuha yung sa moon. Ito po yung tsura ng moon, no? So, sobrang detailed dyan. Nakita niyo yung mga creators dyan. That was taken using the Xiaomi 13 Ultra handheld lang. Pero kasi baka hindi lang moon yung gusto niyong kunan. Pag gusto mag-vlog. Okay rin ba ito pang vlog or pang video, mga cinematics? Here it is. Well, actually, kanya mag-shoot up to 8K 24 frames per second. Kaya lang kinumpare naman yung 4K 60fps niya with the 8K at hindi po ganun kaganda yung image quality ng 8K. So, ibig sabihin, don't use the 8K. 4K 60fps talaga. So, parang number lang talaga yung 8K. Baka hindi nyo rin siya gamitin kasi nga, uh, it looks laggy. It looks terrible. But yung kanyang 4K video, ito na po. Comparison. So, yung sample ng 4K 60 frames per second on both phones, the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. And as you can see, iba talaga yung quality ni iPhone 14 Pro Max. Talagang, it's leagues away from the competition Si Xiaomi 13 Ultra, medyo uh, mahabol na siya kay iPhone. But it's still not there yet. Uh, as you can see, the colors are much better, much more accurate on the iPhone talaga. And in terms of quality, iPhone pa rin talaga. Si Xiaomi 13 Ultra ay uh, almost there. Siguro, kailan pa ng konting tweaks, more updates in the future. Pero, kakaiba yung kanyang 1-inch sensor, di ba? Ito yung background there. Very good, very good. Pag lumapit sa aking mukha, Sino mas natural? Ito ba yung ng selfie video? Oh my god, hindi kayo maniniwala sa malalaman nyo. Guys, itong si Xiaomi 13 Ultra, no? uh, very expensive phone. Only 1080p to sa aking uh, camera dito. Pero dito sa iPhone, naka 4K, 60 frames. Kita ni Xiaomi? Bakit naka 1080p pa rin to? That is the difference, guys. So from low light, punta sa labas. Ito quality, ah. Man. Although, ako naman si Xiaomi. Uh, serviceable naman. Uh, it could pass as a great mid-range camera. Ay, wait lang. Ba't parang walang ligo ako ngayon kay iPhone? Dito naman kay Xiaomi, parang bagong ligo ako. Parang tanda ko tingnan sa iPhone. Parang pangat mag-vlog sa iPhone. Ay, totoo. Okay na. May angle lang pala. Pero pag ganito, yun ang mukhang matanda. What? Ay lang, okay talaga pag may beautification like kay Xiaomi. Pero kay iPhone, ah, pero mas maganda mag-vlog talaga pag ganito ka ganda yung video ni 
Ano na? Ni, ni Apple? Wow. Guys, so ito na. Low light, camera, comparison. Huawei P60 Pro, Xiaomi 13 Ultra, and the uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Ah! Okay, ayos na. Ayun na, okay na. Woo! Full blast. So, kamusta naman yung results? No? Uh, here's the thing. At first glance, ito po yung nakita namin. Unang-una, si Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Very sharp yung mukha ko. Nice skin. Kaya lang, bluish ako. Hindi na napansin namin. The color could have been better, but yung details sa mukha ko, andyan pa rin. Maganda. Very nice. Si iPhone naman, ito. Yun lang. Naging soft yung mukha ko dito. I think si iPhone yung the least sa low light. Siya yung the least performing phone. Medyo makalat yung picture dito. And I don't think this is a really good picture to begin with. Pero, pero, si Huawei, what? What is this picture? Akala mo may ilaw. Hindi to na dinaya. This was the actual photo taken at the same lighting conditions as the other phones. And as you can see, ibang level. Tama na. Okay, so baka may magalit sa akin. Move on naman tayo sa telephoto lens. Ayun, so photo sa labas. Nag-picture naman si Bing. Ito po yung example photo shot using the telephoto lens on all three phones. Again, napansin namin ang ganda talaga ng telephoto portrait shots from the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. It was not kidding when it put 50 megapixels on every lens it has. Kaya lang kasi, now we're comparing it to other phones. Napansin namin, no? Uh, si Xiaomi 13 Ultra is ganito po yung level niya. I think, kayo nang bahala dito. Siyempre, ito na po, kayo na po bahala, subjective po, for me, yung decision making dito. Siyempre pang bumalik sa Huawei? Leica? Ah, wala pa rin Google. Okay, sige. Ah, doon na tayo sa... Kay Xiaomi na lang kayo. Kasi, mas safe pa rin kay Xiaomi. So, yan po si Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Yung kanyang camera. What can you say? Is it actually good? Did it exceed your expectations? Kasi for me, ah, uh, actually, it's a very well put camera phone. The design, amazing. The camera quality, also amazing. It's not the best I've seen so far. Napunta naman tayo sa kanyang performance. This is something na... Excited talaga ako. Ngayon na nakita ng 1.5 million points ang Tutu Benchmark. That is all thanks to that powerful Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. Eh, well, papata lang saglit sa inyo kung ano yung tura ng mga games niya. Ito po si Mobile Legends. As you can see, wala pong lag. Ultra, ultra na. No problem. Ito naman si Call of Duty. Meron siyang ultra 90 FPS mode. All the buzzwords are here. Kompleto po siya. Flagship na flagship po yung experience. Kanyang speaker po ay Dolby Atmos na malakas po yung kanyang sounds. And yung display. Maganda na display niya. It's actually the same display as the Xiaomi 12S Ultra last year. It is a 6.73 inch LTPO AMOLED 120Hz Dolby Vision HDR10 Plus display na meron 1 billion colors. Corning Gorilla of Glass Victus, same na same. 1440p po ang kanyang resolution. Pero pinakaiba is, mas malaki yung kanyang nits, no? yung brightness niya, mas mataas. 1300 nits yung kanyang usual. And 2600 nits naman yung kanyang max or yung peak brightness. Which is very bright, mas bright pa sa iPhone actually. Yung number next, 2000 lang pala si iPhone. And yes, the display is curved. Very flagship yung kanyang shape. Got a punch hole. It's got a perfect shape for gaming. Kaya lang kasi kapag nag-games ka dito guys. Yun lang, lagi matatamaan yan. Medyo awkward for gaming. <laughs> and even with the casing, parang awkward pa rin siya hawakan. Pero syempre, I think you're gonna buy this not because of gaming, but because you want a really good camera. By the way, perfect po yung kanyang display for gaming. Genshin Impact, ito po yung niya. Very smooth po siya sa Genshin Impact. One of the smoothest gameplays I've ever seen for this game. Actually, this is not gonna be a full review. This is just a camera review overall. Pinakot pala mga... Uh, games, performance, mabilisan lang kasi nga, I don't think isi-sell nila dito sa ating bansa, pero what if, no? what if mag-sell talaga sila sa ating bansa? Is this actually something that people will buy in the Philippines? I'm not really sure. Pero kasi ang point ko dito, with the like of branding and all, and the one inch sensor, and all of this, yung pati yung itsura niya, camera na rin. Sa ngayon, marami pang pwedeng i-improve si Xiaomi on their camera phones. Siguro sa software na sila mag-focus next time because they could actually leverage yung AI technology right now to improve yung mga photos na pinaproduce na kanilang flagship phone. I know impressive, I mean, even sa Sony Xperia, no, gumagamit sila ng one-inch sensor, but still the iPhone beats it by a mile. Ganun katindi yung software ni Apple talaga. And I think that's where the R&D should be going, Xiaomi. More resource on that software updates, computational photography, and things like that. Para matalo nyo na yung competition. I would really love to see your brand coming on top in terms of camera. And hopefully soon, I'll review your phone. And finally, finally crown it the best camera phone 
in the world. Guys, if you want to see a full comparison between the iPhone 14 Pro Max, Xiaomi 13 Ultra, and the Huawei P60 Pro, syempre review lang to ng 13 Ultra and seeing how it's compared to this in a few minutes. But yes, if you want to see a full review, mag-subscribe, like the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. It's Vince, and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Woohoo!